and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode of Prosecco and Peenies, I have my very special guest, Ashley. Hi. Of the Little Flower Bunch. And if you've watched our videos before, we have a good time. We drink <laughs> and we play with flowers. It's like the best of both worlds. So on today's episode, we are going to show you how to do a simple flower wall. They've been super popular for like um, weddings, bridal showers, brunches, just a really cute backdrop to have for an event and to take photos since, you know, that's kind of like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested in watching us do this little tutorial, please keep watching. So for today's tutorial, it's gonna be really simple, right Ashley? Oh yeah, super simple. And these are things that you can pick up from your local like wholesaler, wholesaler or like grocery store oh, if yeah. they have yeah. it. Okay, so you're gonna want to pick flowers that are in the same color family just so it's cohesive and it looks mm. pretty, right? Exactly, yeah. And you wanna make sure that, you know, even if you're doing like say pink, you can do a gradient, like different types of pink. You could almost do like an ombre, or today we're gonna mix it up a little bit mm -hmm. just so that there's those pops of darker pink. Um, but yeah, you don't wanna do like pinks and maybe yellows or yeah. something. I mean, no if it, I mean, if it mm. matched with your theme, go for mm, it. Sure. But you know, on this recommendation, we're gonna say with <laughs> stick with the same color yeah. family. <laughs> and then you're gonna need some tape and <laughs> floral scissors. Flower scissors. <laughs> and it's optional to have some Arbor Mist. So yeah, we're fortunate to be using this actual white wall and we're gonna be actually taping the flowers to the wall. But if you don't have a white wall to use, you can get a backdrop on Amazon and I'll make sure I'll link one below in the description box so you can find one. Okay, cool. so we're gonna get started. So what do we have here today that we're gonna be using, Ashley? So as far as flowers that you're going to pick for your DIY backdrop, you wanna stick with really light flowers. So even though there's some really gorgeous uh, roses, garden roses, peonies, just as we have like a few examples, sometimes they can be a little heavier. And when you go to tape them on the wall, they might look great to begin with, but exactly. Yeah. So, yes. So flowers. Keep them light, mm -hmm. keep it tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to popping. Yeah. Oh, we're not popping today because last time, if you remember, like popping kind of was like a little too yeah. stressful. It scared us, and I think we <laughs> screamed and probably broke the microphone. Yeah, so we yeah. won't do that today. So today we're just drinking some Arbor Mist. It's a twist off, so no injuries. No. <laughs> no scary. Yeah, quartz coming yeah, out of no, nowhere. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Yay. So as far as starting, what you want to do, the first step is going to be marking your space. So whether it's the white wall or your backdrop that you have, obviously if it's a backdrop, it's only so limited with right. what you can do. Um, but since we have this nice big white wall, I've kind of pre-marked it with some tape um, just to have like the perfect length if you wanted to do a little bit of a backdrop or photo booth um, and we're going to start just above kind of our height level mm -hmm. um, and then go down and then you can either mix and match we can create a pattern that we want to do um, as far as the the little guys that we've got here we'll want to like clump a couple of them together just so they look about the same size mm -hmm. as the larger flowers um, and then basically after that it's just cutting taping cutting taping um, and yeah really simple so let's get to it let's All go right. you'll want to like cut maybe this one and that one okay um and so then we should you keep tape them, like them. A, gotcha mm -hmm. yeah and okay. then you can tape them together and i'm just using about an inch and a half piece of tape mm -hmm. to secure the flower yeah onto the wall and then as you're figuring out which flowers you want to put um, on there, after you cut them, you'll want to leave like a couple inches just so that there's enough room on the stem to tape it in the middle and take off any little leaves that you might have that could impede um, with the tape. But yeah, you what? can either do... Oh, this is... <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, why isn't it opening? 
This is why I have Ashley here because although I love flowers, I love everything about them. I'm not very good at putting things together. So that's why we have Ashley. She's the expert and she's been so kind to come and help me today in creating this. And thank you for the tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I think this is such a good idea for like photo booths mm -hmm. or if you had, you know, like even like bridal showers or baby showers, you yeah. know, there's kind of the guest of honor mm -hmm. sitting and when they're opening presents and stuff, you want to have like a cute little corner for them. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is something that I know for me, putting a party together is the best part because sometimes like when you're in the moment of hosting, you have a million things going on. Mm -hmm. So like enjoying the prep is kind of like your party. Yeah. So this is like really fun. Like you can just have a, like a glass of wine, hang out with your friend, put some yeah. music on and like put flowers on the wall. Exactly. Pinterest, you can like get like lost in a mm -hmm. wormhole just like looking at all the pretty like flor floral arrangement ideas. Mm. But it just, it's just so cool to me that you can still reinvent a flower, like a flower arrangement. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like it's always something new you can do with mm -hmm. it. And everyone's gonna have like a different spin and touch, mm -hmm. you know? Like kind of like last time, it's like. What? Oh, fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like last time when I was doing the tutorial, ours ended up looking completely different, right. even though it was the same flowers and. Even with this tutorial, like it's gonna come out differently when you guys do it. And that's okay. Like, there's beauty and the differences and the little, like, quirks and things like that. Like, don't feel bad or don't feel like you're, like, not executing this well. This is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Something just really fun to do with your friend and you're going to do it well, no matter what. <laughs> just try not to twist your tape <laughs> while you're up here. <laughs> and just make sure you're securing the flowers, like, by the stem, like, with the tape, like, really pressing it down because you don't want fallen flowers in the middle of your photo. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't already know, Ashley is an entrepreneur here in Jacksonville. She's a girl boss, and I love supporting my fellow girl bosses. Um, and she has a local flower delivery service called the Little Flower Bunch. So you want to tell them a little bit about what you do? Yeah, sure. So Spreading happiness. I do. Yeah, nobody's ever sad when I bring them the flowers, that's for sure. Um, it's a daily flower delivery service. So essentially, it's different from a normal florist in that I go to the wholesaler every morning and I kind of pick out like whatever is fresh and seasonal and available that day. Um, so I don't typically pre-order anything. I just go in and it's a surprise to me whatever they have there that day. And then I pick out an assortment, kind of like I did with all of this, mm -hmm. um, whatever colors I think might go well or textures. And then I take that back and I create a little bunch of the day that's wrapped in paper and tied with twine. And I make just a whole bunch of those specific little bunches. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not options on my website of mixing this kind of flower or, or doing that or different types of vases. It's just one kind of option. Um, and that's $30 and it includes delivery within Jacksonville and you know it's a little bit more simple than something you might get at a normal forest but that's what I what I wanted you know yeah. I wanted there to be a delivery service that still offered something that was um, super fresh um, and affordable but not so elaborate that it costs like a hundred dollars yeah. you know and I like the fact that every day if you don't follow her already please do because it's super who doesn't like pretty things on their feet, first of all? And her bunches are beautiful. And she you usually sell out like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's been selling out quite a lot lately. Yeah. So I'm working on like getting more help and more drivers. And once I do that, then I'll be able to have some more bunches to go around for so sure. Get your bunches while they're hot. <laughs> first thing. And how like do they just reach out? on your website? Yeah, so or? you can reach out on my website. 
Um, I've got a little form there you can fill out. You can email, you can text, you can call, you can Facebook, you can Instagram. So, you know, any of your preferred methods. It looks so cute, guys. <laughs> yeah, we can just like keep going mm -hmm. and then like, like at our waist, like little below our waist. Yeah. And it'll, be, it'll be good to go. This, I just feel like, is it like a really nice touch for like one day event. Yes. Like if you're going to do something like, even if you're a YouTuber or aspiring, mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, an aspiring YouTuber, this is something you can do with fake flowers so that you can just have like a consistent backdrop mm -hmm. while you shoot. Yeah. Um, and they won't die. Yeah. <laughs> And even with carnations, like they are such hardy flowers that they can last out of water for a good oh yeah yeah for a good bit. Are there any other flowers you can recommend for a flower wall like this? Um, it definitely depends on like personal preference, and you know, like I was saying, anything too heavy you want to avoid just because it might fall down in the middle of the event or the photo shoot or whatever it may be. Um, and you don't want to get anything that's going to wilt too fast out of water either. Um, so you could do like little spray roses if you wanted to kind of clump them together like we're doing with mm -hmm. these little mini carnations. Um, tulips might be a nice touch. Ranunculus would be really beautiful. I'm going to go back and take a step back. Yeah. It looks so good. When you see things on Instagram and Pinterest like it looks like it's completely out of your league and you might not even decide to try. I love when someone is able to share their secrets to actually show you that you can do this too. All right, last touch. Okay. Okay, I might just trim this stem a little bit. All right. All right, so that's it. We it's did it. super quick, super easy, and look how pretty it is. Like, you can definitely do this. This is definitely within someone's, like, DIY, like, <laughs> range. If I can do it, <laughs> anybody can do it. <laughs> you don't need to have, like, a master florist here with you. But it's just fun. Thank yes. you so much, Ashley, You're for welcome. being here. And let's take some selfies. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Because we have this beautiful wall. I know. We can't <laughs> let it to go to waste. All right. <laughs>so much for watching this DIY. If you love this video, what should they do, Ashley? They should <laughs> give it a <laughs> thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Oh. Join the musings of a curvy lady family on YouTube. Um, we'd love to do more videos like this. Thank you so much for being You're here. Welcome. 
And if you guys have any um, suggestions of what you guys want to see us do, please let me know in the comments below. But until then, please stay lovely. Bye. Bye.